Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading and this is for Gemini Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Gemini, you're gonna assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so gems if you want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color dated march the 8th to march the 14th then follow me in instagram if you also want to know your financial forecast and then follow me in instagram as well if you are into twin flame readings almost personal readings pick a card and channel messages then subscribe to the other channel. That's Time Best Row 111. If you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So, gems, let's begin. Gemini, I can see here that there's a lot of sadness. Um, remorse, blaming yourself, blaming your person. It felt like you don't know who's to blame. Um, sometimes you're blaming yourself for not doing something. You feel like you can extend more, right? But you're also blaming the other person, saying that why they didn't speak, why they didn't even let you know what's wrong in this connection. There's really separation here, physical and energetic. Physical, your person might be, you know, really far from you. Or you might be in a long distance relationship. Energetic, you know that there's something wrong. Um, you and this person is really not on the same page. And I can see here for a few numbers of you, this is for a small percentage, you found out that there is a third party for a few numbers of you you know um i can see here that you found out by checking their cell phones checking you know their activities online their social media you found something they're really in a third party here for a few numbers of you you may find out that your person met someone you know in a party um you want to communicate. I think that you want to say something here. You want to, in spite of all of this, in spite of all the chaos, you still have a huge amount of love for your person. But whatever it is that you wanted to do or you wanted to say here, you're kind of juggling it. You're kind of, should I say it? Should I make a move? There's a lot of questions in your head. There's a lot of things that you want to have an answer, right? Um, there's a lot of sadness. Misunderstanding is really here with the moon card. Gemini, I think because there's no communication here. You might also feel that, oh no, this is the end of my connection with my person. They have a new one. What more can I do? I have, if I were going to communicate or reach out, I know that I will be rejected. It plays over and over in your head here. You know, there's really a lot of questions. And the thing here is, 
you're not getting any answer. With a five of wands here, page of pentacles, I think that this person really they met online. Um, and this is the cause of the tower moment, you know, for this dynamic. Eight of Wands here, probably you're also sending telephatic message or even at night, probably or, you know, even not at night. You're, you're thinking that, hey, person, message me, message me. This I keep on hearing. Message me, I want to talk, message me. But you're not taking initiative because of fear, okay? And you're losing hope in this connection. With a ton of pentacles, uh, two of pentacles here, you're manifesting your person back. Um, and I can see here that you're hoping that this is the last cycle of your separation. You're also hoping that, you know, um, it will not going to happen again. There's a lot of sadness in this um, Gemini, but I can see here that your person with the Ace of Wands here, who they're really passionate. Um, I feel like they are in a hex here um, with the Eight of Swords, a Gemini. I can sense here probably something that made them trap. I think that they have been blackmailed let's say this is a one-time thing you know that they have been blackmailed and they cannot get out of that even though that they want to you know I think they need savings here um, they're also waiting you know I, I am really curious what are they waiting for but I can see here there is really kind of like if the other person is let's say using their body because i can see a lot of you know um sexual cards here with your person's um spread ace of wands and the ace of cups these are sexual cards and the queen of cups sometimes it, it kind of like being thirsty you know now let i mean literally a card but the meaning of it you know there's kind of thirstiness um, I think that they will be stagnant for quite a while um, and there's fear in them there there's fear in your person uh, let's clarify here this eight of swords uh -huh. they're hurting or they know that they hurt someone well I can see here that yes they're hurting because they found out that they are they are used they are abused or they're being used they're waiting for the right time here i think that the universe you know already showed the true color of the person that they are attracted to that's card is here now they they're waiting for the right time to give the other person here, you, a comeback, you know. There is a huge amount of love, but it may take time for the other person because I feel like they are being entrapped. It may take some time for them to be free to the other side, to the third party. But I can see here once they have the enlightenment, once they have the freedom, I can see here Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a completion of your abundance and their and their abundance is you, although it may again time is our um time is our enemy here. There's a lot of you know um delays, right? The Hermit and the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of delays here. But I hope that, you know, this is what I'm seeing i hope that i didn't do that to my gemini 
You might be connecting here with Pisces or has a Pisces placement in their chart or you have a Pisces placement in your chart. Um, Libra or has a Libra placement in their chart or you have a Libra placement in your chart. Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart. Virgo or has a Virgo placement in their chart or you have a Virgo placement in your chart or any water placements here. Um, this is your reading. If you resonate with this and you want to go in depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you're okay with the reading and you just have a question or two, there's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Tap in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Bye, gems.